keep it real with ya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and um, I hope that everyone I'm sorry I'm very tired <laughs> I'm very tired but um, I hope that everyone's having a great and blessed day on today and in today's video I'm going to be doing a two strand twist out using this <clears throat> this is Africa's best uh, textures shea butter curls um, curl defining cream and I purchased this from the hair store right there by my house and it was like four or five dollars maybe six I don't remember it was very inexpensive and I wanted to try it because I really I did not know because I don't follow like Africa's best hairline like that I only use like um their hair grease and for those who been on my channel um and also if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Isis I should have said that in the beginning but like I said I'm a little tired um I use the um, Africa's Best Supergirl Oil uh, hair grease, and it has like herbs in it and stuff. And other ones don't, but the one I use has herbs in it, and it has a red uh, lid. And the other hair oil that I use is the liquid one, and it has uh, a red top on it. So that's the only thing that I use. And I used to use their um, moisturizer, which is really good, but I haven't used it in a while. I used it when I used to use Cantu, so... And I don't use Cantu anymore. Um, so, yeah, but I do recommend their moisturizer. But I am going to be doing a two-strand twist out with this just to see if I like it. And this is what it looks like. It's like a butter. It's um, it's thick. So, and it smells actually really good. So, we're going to see how this works on my hair. And I'm going to be using the Pink Oil Moisturizer Hair Lotion. Everyone knows that I love this stuff. So, I'm going to be using these two products right here together. So, yeah. And I keep, if I keep looking over, it's because I'm looking at this. It's not because I don't drink enough water. I got a little breakout right here. It's a little pimple right here, right here, right there. Um, It's not because I don't drink enough water. I drink a gallon of water a day. I think a little bit of what this is is stress. I think it's stress because I am taking a winter mini master. And I'm taking two classes. And just because it's two classes doesn't mean that like, oh, that's not too bad. It's a mini master. So you're learning what you'll be learning in like a month, all in a week. And you have a lot of assignments, a lot of papers, and a lot of work to do. And it's always due that night or the next day. And I'm taking two winter mini master classes. This is the last week. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Oh, because I work on top of that. I haven't even, oh my God, it's just, I just need a break. I just need a little break. So I think a little bit of this is stress, but um, just starting to go away. And y'all, if y'all have seen my uh, face care regimen, so if y'all see my face care regimen, um, y'all know that within a, like two days or so, all of this will be gone. But Aside from that, now we're going to get off of this. <laughs> so aside from that, I'm going to be talking about what I did to my hair and um, what I'm going to be doing. But I'm not going to be doing my full head on camera because I think it takes up too much time. So what I did to my hair was first I washed it with this shampoo. Everyone knows I use. And if you don't know, this is a shampoo that I use. This is Head & Shoulders uh, Classic Clean Shampoo. And I like it because it thoroughly cleanses my scalp and my hair. And it gets all the product buildup out of my hair. So, yeah, I do recommend this. Then I used this conditioner right here to detangle my hair. And um, I like this conditioner because it has great slip. And I detangled my hair with this. This was my first time using this. This is the um, Cantu. Maybe this way, I guess. Um, <laughs> write down in the comments if y'all can read it right. Um... This is by Cantu's, and this is their detangling brush. It was okay. Honestly, I don't really care for it. I really did not like this, <laughs> like that at all. Um, it did detangle my hair, but I don't like it. I really did not like it like that, so I know I'm not going to be using that again. I'm going to go back to using this. So I love detangling my hair with a wide tooth comb. So I'm going to go back to using my wide tooth comb to detangle my hair. So after that, um, well, after this... What I did was um, I used this. This is the Miel's um, Rice Water Collection, the clay mask. So this is the um, the clay mask 
that I put into my hair. This was my first time using a clay mask and I recommend everyone to go and purchase this clay mask because it works. I have central heat so if y'all heard that that's my uh, heat coming on. But um, yeah so if you use clay masks or if you haven't used a clay mask before I do recommend this one because this um, actually made my hair feel uh, moisturized. It was very very soft. Um, and my curls were extra bouncy. I loved it. And after I put this in, this is what it looks like. It actually looks like clay because it is clay. Um, it's hair clay. Um, so I put this in, on my hair. Um, and I put a plastic cap over my head um, for 15 minutes. And then I rinsed that out. And then I deep conditioned my hair under my hooded dryer with this. This is Mega Growth's um, deep conditioner. So after I deep conditioned my hair, I rinsed that out and then um, I just uh, put this. This is my uh, Turby Twist and I purchased this from Walmart. This um, is a microfiber towel so it absorbs the water in your hair as opposed to a towel like this behind me. Cloth towels, they're not good for your hair and I always say that um, because cloth towels can wear your hair and that's not a good thing at all. It's not good at all. And also, side notes, um, with the clay mask. This is also good to use when you're coming out of your protective styles, such as um, weaves, um, your sewings, uh, braids, Saigonese twists, um, and like crochet. I know a lot of people are starting to crochet their hair now. Um, when you come out of those styles, because your hair is being protected underneath that, um, when you take it out, you know, you wash your hair, you condition your hair and everything like that. It's always good to use the, like a clay mask because clay masks, um, puts the moisture back into your hair. And I'm going to do a little bit more research on clay masks because, um, to me, I think that they're kind of like deep conditioners or like a conditioner to me, but I have to do a little bit more uh, research because, I know that they they are uh, slightly different so I have to really do some deep research and know why but I do know that these are good for if you're coming out of your uh, protective styles and stuff so yes I highly recommend this also um yeah so I'm gonna take this off my head and I'm going to start to section my hair and stuff so let's take that off and this is my hair. Oh my god, it smells so good. This is my hair. And so what I'm going to do is just... And I don't really do like perfect like sections and stuff like that. So... Because I don't really care. Because they're just going to be twisted um, anyway. So... And it's easier for me to section my hair. As opposed to just doing it all like... At once in my head because um it just reduces time and it's just a lot easier for me just some more there we go. I know I look like a freaking devil <laughs> right now with my hair looking like that so all right so yeah so I use this comb as I go through and I'm not gonna do my whole head on camera because like I said it takes up too much time so I'm going to and thank you for um to everyone who Who's following me on Instagram and who's my friend on Facebook and stuff and who's actually on my channel as well. Forgive me love for my uh, Flexi Rod set. I got a lot of love and support and a lot of DMs and uh, Facebook messages and stuff about it and stuff. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So take this down and then I'm going to get a piece of my hair. You can use like you can have it as big as you want. And then what I do is I always put the, oh, this is what it looks like. It's like a butter. I like, the, oh yeah, I like how the way 
I like the way it feels. And it smells good. It smells like, um, to me, like a yellow Starburst. That's what it smells like to me. It actually smells really good. And, um... And I got my moisturizer. You always need a moisturizer in your hair because you don't want your hair to get dry. And especially your ends because I know for me, my ends, they tend to get dry. So I'm constantly moisturizing that and stuff. It's just, it's very important. So now what I do is I start ends up. Even though I detangled, I still comb through my hair both ways like that. And then... Get my hair like this. There we go. And then we start to twist. See? That's it. And you see how it's a little fuzzy at the end? I'm going to be trimming my dead ends. And I need to go get my scissors. So what I'm about to do is start trimming my dead ends. And everyone knows I use my hair shears, which I do have to get. Um, and yeah. So I'll be right back and you all will see the um, the finished product of the two strand twist out in the next clip. So I'll be right so back. So I did the two strand twist out again using this product right here I'm sorry I was fixing my hair anyway using this product right here the Africa's best uh, textures shea butter curls um, curl defining cream and with this as well the um, pink oil moisturizer uh, hair lotion <clears throat> um, with this what I liked about this is that excuse me it's like a butter and um it's a curl defining cream, so it's thick, but not too, too thick. It's like, um, this is what it feels like. It's like, you see, not much is on my face. So it's like that, but it has shea butter in it. So it has enough amount of oil in your hair. I mean, in it. So when you put it in your hair, it your hair has like um this tint of shine you see it's kind of shiny right there so that's what i really like about this and these two products together they coincide very well um they mix well and everything and i did trim my ends i did see some dead ends so again i trim my ends with these and if you haven't seen my trimming video please go and check that out i um have a trimming video on how to uh, trim natural hair. Um, what I do is, you know, my hair is twisted like this. And whatever ends that I see that's frizzy, I just cut them off. So this is not a frizzy end. This is actually a layered piece of hair. See? Where is it? See? It's actually layered all the way down. See it? So that's not a, a dead end. And always make sure that um, you're combing through your hair before you uh, trim. I didn't have a lot of dead ends. This is all I had. See? These are all the dead ends that I had. I really didn't have a lot. So, that's pretty much it. So, now what I'm going to do is, you know, y'all know, excuse me, I got kind of uh, tongue-tied. Um, I use a hair tie, and what I do is... I just get my hair and I don't care if some of these twists fall like that. I don't really care at all. And I sleep on a silk or a satin bonnet. Um, oh, this is actually inside out. That's why it was all shiny. This is what it looks like. This is the inside. It um, My hair slips on it and I have uh, satin pillowcases. So I sleep with satin pillowcases and yeah. It smells so good because I just did laundry and I washed this. So it just smells amazing. So I sleep with this on and that's it. 
that's pretty much it. I'm gonna make sure everything is uh, covered up. So this is how I sleep at night. I sleep just like this. So um, I'm gonna be showing y'all the results in the next clip. Right now what I'm about to do is go to bed and get ready for classes tomorrow. So everyone have a good night or a good day and good morning or whenever you're watching this video, good afternoon. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all in the next clip. Have a great night or Hello everyone. So we are into the next day now <clears throat> and um, I'm gonna be taking out my, two, my uh, two strand twist out. So again, what I uh, did a twist out with on my hair was um, with this and with this, this the Shea Butters, um, not Shea Butter, this is the Africa's Best Textures Shea Butter Curls, um, Curl Defining Cream, and then I used the Pink Oil Moisturizer Hair Lotion. There is another moisturizer by Pink, and it's something purple right here that says something else. You can use that too. I haven't used that one before, but I've heard that it's... Um, it's good as well. It's the same exact thing. I think it just, I don't know what it says on it, but um, I've seen it and um, I took a quick look at it, but it's the same thing. You can use either or. Um, and I'm going to be taking it out with this, the Softy Shea Butter. Um, again, this was only a dollar from the dollar store. I got this from Family Dollar and it was very inexpensive. So after I take these out, Tonight, what I'm going to do is my overnight routine. And I think that I posted an, over, an uh, overnight routine video. So I'm going to be oiling my scalp with this and with this. Y'all know I get the perimeter of my head with um, a hair grease. So I'm going to be using this uh, shea butter and then um, oil my scalp with this. And then, you know, put my hair up and stuff for bed. But, yeah. So my hair is... um. The twists are nice and dry. They're all nice and dry. These two just... <laughs> anyway, so... Yeah, so we're going to be taking these out. And the purpose of using hair grease, when you're taking out your... Uh, twist outs, braid outs, or anything like that is so they won't become frizzy. Um, you don't want it to frizz. So you don't have to do it as fast as I am. But see? Ooh, it's such a pretty curl. And again, y'all, you all know that um, I trimmed my ends. A little bit I didn't have much uh, split ends so the ones I did have I cut them I cut them and remember when I was talking about the bumps they're starting to clear up they're starting to clear up um, by me continuing to do and use my uh, face care regimen and if you haven't seen that video please go and check that out my face care routine and how I keep my skin um, clear and stuff like that also sometimes I know people who drink lots of water like myself and maintain a healthy diet like myself um and sometimes they get pimples some of it is hormone hor hormonal hor I can never say that word right hormones let's just say that hormonal hormonal Hormone. <laughs> anyway, um, most of it is um, well, some of it is hormones, because I know for women, um, we get our menstrual cycles. So sometimes when our menstrual is about to come, we get a uh, a bump here and there, or a pimple, or anything like that. And then once your menstrual is over, um, You know, your face starts to clear up. So it's just hormones sometimes. I love the way my hair feels. Um, by the product, the um this by this having a shea butter in it, um it keeps 
my twists moisturized. And um, I just love the way it feels. Like it feels so good. And I always have to make sure that I have all the twists out because you all know if you've been watching my channel, I forget twists all the time. I always forget some twists and I'm like, uh oh. Also, any other uh, hairstyles y'all want me to do, please comment down below. Um, and I've also been looking at some hairstyles, some other hairstyles that I want to post on my channel. So, that's another thing. Let me feel. I think I have some on this side that I forgot to. Yeah. Um, I can't do perm rod sets, so don't comment that. I could do another flexi rod set um, using a different product if y'all would like. I could try to do um, like other hairstyles and stuff like that. I'm a, um have to look on my other uh, curly girl uh, bloggers that I follow and um, see what they have and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that. Um, also, I do not use brown gel so any like hairstyle you want me to do and y'all want me to use brown gel i'm not going to do it with brown gel because um brown gel actually oh now we just gotta uh separate so y'all know i do the one finger through um brown gel has alcohol in it and you're not supposed to be putting alcohol in your hair to be honest with you and that's why brown gel has that smell and um, your hair becomes very hard using brown gel. I remember I used to use brown gel when my hair was relaxed and I would get these cute hairstyles with like curls, um, curly hairstyles and stuff like that. And they will put spritz in my hair. That's not good either because it's alcohol. You can't put alcohol in your hair and that's why your hair is so crispy and so hard with spritz and then they put that brown gel mess in it and your hair becomes hard it becomes hard and you don't want that you don't want that who wants to walk around with a hard head like there's no reason for that so i don't if you're using brown gel stop stop just stop using it use um I know a lot of people are stop are going to stop using um the Eco Styler gel. I still use it. I use the one with the red top. Um, that's the one with the argan oil, and then the other one is with the green. That's the other one I use too. That one has olive oil. Um, either one is fine. Um, I did buy some shine. Uh, I think it's called Shine and Jam or some something. It's with a purple. It's in a black. Uh, it's down here. Yeah, shiny jam. Uh, I haven't used that before, so I'm gonna think about do like to do a hairstyle or something using that, like some type of. I gotta think. Um, but naturalistas like myself use. They use well. I haven't used shiny jam, but a lot of people do, and they said it's pretty good. Um, I used to use jam back in the day on my hair. Um, that stuff works, but. I don't know. I don't think people still use that like that anymore. Um, but brown gel, just stop using it. There's no reason for it. I know. And also, some people get like the little brown swigglies. Looks like dead skin on your face with the brown gel. Just be careful with it. If, you, if you're stubborn and don't want to stop using it because it works best for your hair, then go ahead and use it still. But just be careful. Just be careful. I wouldn't recommend it. But, you know, that's just me. Um, I know the main choice has um, gel. There's other types of gels out there and stuff. But I know for people like myself, I like gel with a good hold. With a really good hold. I don't like gel that um, doesn't have a good hold. So, 
I think that's why some people recommend, you know, and use the brown gel because it does have a pretty good hold. But there's other gels out there that's not brown gel that has a good hold. So what I'm doing now is just um, lifting my hair up. And so, I like the way it feels. It makes my hair feel very um, soft. It feels very, very soft and um, let me skip right here. Lift up. So I'm just moving back so you all can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. So, and always the first day, I don't really like my twist out on the first day. I always like them on like the second, third, fourth day. It's the first day, it's just it's so fresh, just like how I said about the Flexi Raw set. I don't like a perfect flexi rod set or perm rod set because I like a little mess in my hair. I like a little wild and a little big and stuff. So this is it. This is my hair um, with that product. So it's not that I don't like the curls. I love the curls. I love how it feels. But like I said, I don't like a fresh twist out. I like the next day. Because it's a little bit more wild and my hair is a little bit more bigger. So, yeah, I look like a little bright right now because. <laughs> but I like it though. I like the um the curls. I love how soft my hair um, feels with this. So, I always like go through with my hands. And see, this is, this is it. This is the final look. So... That is it. I hope everyone has a great and blessed day. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you're new to my channel, um, welcome. And please hit that subscribe button and the post notification bell so you all know when I will um, be uploading new videos and new content and stuff like that. And be on the lookout for that. I'm going to be posting a lot of new content besides hair. So that's a little surprise. Um, be on the lookout for that. I'm going to be talking about... Um, other topics and stuff like that that I think are um, extremely important, extremely important to talk about. Um, so, yeah, be on the lookout for that. And thank you. Stay blessed, be blessed, and just be safe and careful out there.